Today we are going to learn how to create double exposure effect in Photoshop. So let's get started. I highly suggest you to follow along with this tutorial to get a better understanding of it. All the resources used in this tutorial are free to download. The link is mentioned in the description. First open the Photoshop, click on create new, set the width dimension 2500 pixel and height will be 3500. Click on create. We are going to use this black and white portrait image, scale it up, right click and place it. Now take the object selection tool, click on select subject, it will automatically make a selection of the object. Now add a layer mask on it, it will remove the background and we will only have the girl portrait. Let's change the background to white, press D for default colors, select the background, press Ctrl or Command plus backspace to fill the white color. Now select the portrait layer, take the move tool and position the portrait to the center. We will use this landscape image now. Scale it up. Let's reduce its opacity to 35% to get a better view. We actually want the tree part in the center of the girl. So position it. Now move back the opacity to 100%. Now while holding Alt or Option, drag the portrait mask over the landscape layer. Now our landscape will be in the shape of the portrait mask. Select the landscape layer and set the blend mode to lighten. It will merge both landscape and the portrait together. But we want to highlight the tree portion in the center. To do this, select the landscape layer, press Ctrl or Command J to make a duplicate copy. While holding Ctrl or Command, click on mask to make a selection. Take the brush tool. Set the blend mode back to normal. Select the mask and press Alt Backspace to fill black color. It will make our image invisible. Choose the color white, increase the brush size and paint over the tree to highlight it. Press Ctrl or Command D to deselect. Same thing we will do for the portrait as well. Select the portrait layer while holding Alt or Option. Drag the portrait layer to the top. It will create a copy. Now while holding Ctrl, click on mask to make a selection. Select the mask and press Ctrl or Command Backspace to fill the black color. Take the white brush tool and paint over the portion where you want the image to be visible. After you are done, press Ctrl or Command D to deselect. While holding Shift, select all layers except the background. And while holding Ctrl, again click on Portrait Mask to create the selection. Then press Ctrl or Command G to create a group and add a layer mask on it. For the background, we will use this cloud image with some birds. Scale it up, place it, drag it right below the group. Let's scale it more, zoom in. Select the group mask, take the brush tool, choose the color black and paint over the head portion to merge it with the background. Now add an additional layer of vibrance. Increase the vibrance and saturation a little bit. Now add another additional layer of levels to add contrast to the image. Slide the mid tones to the right and light tones to the left. Let's move the background slightly to the top. This is how we create double exposure effect. If you learn something new, hit the subscribe button. Also press the bell icon for learning updates. My name is Shubham. Thank you so much for watching Graphic Arena.